from the red zone now. They'll look to throw. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Trayvon Mullen. And a great return as he's up close to the 40-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. Throw right side, pulled in by Higgins. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. He's got the first down and more past midfield, and he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Now Lawrence to throw. And he'll throw this one away. But I don't think he was out of the pocket. No, here comes the flag. They lose the yardage, and of course, they also lose the down on the grounding call, and it's quickly second and long. Running out of the gun with ETN. Give him four yards there, but still in a big hole. Third and long. Back now here on EA Sports. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. DeAndre Hopkins making the catch. Touchdown! DeAndre Hopkins, 55 yards. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. Go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. So after the touchdown, Clemson back out there to kick this thing away. Out of the end zone comes Johnson. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Back out there for their next offensive drive. The Hurricanes get set. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. Just a one possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two point conversion. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle. Another try after the first down sack. Kelly, he's going to look deep down the field. They've got his man complete. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. We know he's good at catching the football, but then after the catch, he's got escapability. Not only that, he's got some toughness as well because you know he's coached very hard to make sure he battles through, breaks tackles, and then they finish with, but don't fumble the football. Here's Kelly. Got his tight end. That's complete. It's Graham. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain there on the completion. It'll be second down. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line. Second and goal. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. A 
four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Gosh, given the time and the short game, would he have been better off just dropping that? Yeah, when you look at the clock, you think so, but it's hard to get a receiver to drop a football. They're trained to catch everything. Likely the play of the game here, trailing in the final quarter and going for it on fourth and goal. They'll try and run for it, and he will take this one in for a touchdown. Edger and James punching it in from a yard away. And his guy's now just a two-point conversion away from tying us up. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. They'll try and throw for it. Being chased out left. And Crusher there as it's intercepted. Read it well and it's picked. And now nothing but green ahead of him. He's at the 30. The greatest show on earth, baby. And he takes it all the way back. It's a pick two, if you will, as that play backfires in a big way. So following the touchdown, here's the Miami kick team to send this one away. Fields this way up at the 17. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Tiger offense ready to get after it one more time. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, would likely put an end to this thing. And they'll go again with ETN. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As they'll get it with just a shade under a minute to go in the game. They'll run with ETN. And he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. It's a gain of four, and that should just about seal the deal. Brandon, they're still in the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence, and you're right. They need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. On first and ten, it's ETN. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. It doesn't matter whether you've watched high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. Here's a give to ETN. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Charles, why didn't they just take the knee there? You're asking the question that I'm asking as well, because we've seen a lot of football where coaches decide maybe they get a little greedy. I don't know if they're doing it for stats or for what reason. We've seen it happen in college. And how about in the NFL? The miracle of the Meadowlands. All they had to do was take a knee, and the game was over. The Giants ran it one more time. Ball popped free. Philadelphia picks it up and wins the game. What year was that? 1978. I think it was in November. On third down, Lawrence. He finds Hopkins complete. And some room to roam now. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. 